Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here, CollectiveKicks.com. I wanted to bring you guys kind of a different little video uh, today. One that's kind of uh, related, I guess. Not really. Uh, actually, not really related at all. This is just a video. Um, and what I mean by related is related to my sneaker channel. This is going to be an unboxing of the Oleo clip and then a, uh, a review and, and kind of a test of the different lenses that it comes with. Um, I, and I'll show you guys, I have the old Oleo clip as well. And I used it on some of my old videos. And then I lost it. Um, so I just found it again. As you can see, it's right here. Uh, the old Oleo clip. And it clips onto the iPhone 5. With my iPhone 6 that I'm filming with right now, however, um, couldn't, uh, couldn't necessarily use the old one on the new one. So here it is right here. Oleo clip, 4-in-1 four four photo lens. And uh, yeah. Let's see what it comes with here. I'm not really sure. So here's the inside packaging for anybody who wants to see. This was 80 bucks. Uh, kind of expensive. Uh, and it looks like it's quite a meaty little uh, setup here. This might take a little bit of effort for me to look at. But I wanted to give you guys an, a look at, at the box and the unboxing of it. Um, and then I'll get into the meat and potatoes right here. Front and rear cameras, fisheye, wide angle, and then the macro, 10 and 15. And then the back is, look at what you could do with our product. Girls are jumping around and it's all exciting. And you can have a really intimate uh, photo session with a strawberry. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the old one was decent. I, I noticed some weird stuff though when I was using it because it would like be ha having some weird buzzing like sound when I did film with it. So I'd have to like figure that out. I don't know, it's kind of interesting. Um, so attention, iPhone. This was my question. iPhone 6 and 6, uh, 6 Plus users. Uh, this clip comes pre-installed with an uh, insert for the iPhone 6. Please remove the insert and install, including one for the iPhone 6 Plus before use. Um, so that's what I was curious. Is this one available for the 6 Plus and the 6? It sounds like this covers both, um, but I got the one for the 6. And is it one of these impossible packages or just user error? There it is. All right, so. This is what's inside of it. You have a neat, neatly little packaged thing down here. And there's our, our little intimate strawberry once again. <laughs> uh, all right, so it has instructions. This is kind of cool. So here's a little clip thing it looks like. I don't know, I think that was just supposed to be stuck on there. How to clip. Very easily to use. These tips will help you get started. And then you put this on the inside, you do things and, and it clips in. Uh, I'll have to give that a whirl and check. Looks like it came with a, a uh, neck lanyard. In case I want to represent the Oleo. I don't even know if that's how you say it. So I'm probably falsely representing it, but it is what it is, though. And then you have a, a little... Uh, this is a way bigger lens than the other ones. So you have a little um, package thing there for that. So again, this is the old one sized. And then this is the new one. Holy moly. What do we have going on here? This is a serious clip right here, bros. Um, so there's the, the lens right there, and there's the other lens. It's a meaty, meaty clip. This is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> and then it has a couple of little uh, clip-on things here. All right, so I figured it out. Basically, you have to take this clip thing, and this it says on here, if you read this, I didn't read it when I was showing you guys it, but it's a wearable pendant. That's what they're kind of going for. And they have a couple different colors uh, that you can have. So it's kind of the same thing, just different colors. Uh, it has the black one on it. And you basically pull this off like so. And then now you're left with the actual lens. Still quite a bit bigger than last year's model. This is last year's just a little corner piece that fits on. This one's a whole uh, big, huge thing here going down. But basically, and I can't show you on my phone because uh, my other battery is dead on that one. But um, you put this up on the corner and it just slides on. It clicks in. And you'll notice it like when, like on the back side of here, you'll you'll be able to look through and see that it lines up with the camera. So trust me, you just clip it in, clip it on, and it works. There's one fisheye and then there's um, the wide angle. And then if you take this off and you unscrew this like so... There's the macro, and, there, and it does that for both sides. So um, I want to show you guys a test with the uh, the lenses on so you can see the differences 
uh, with the actual lenses so you can see the, the difference in the room and how much it's, it opens it up. And the reason why I got this, so hopefully it will be a, a little bit better for the sneaker video so I can have more uh, of, of a space sort of thing with uh, with the uh, the videos. But I'm going to show you guys uh, one of the lenses here. All right, so I literally just snapped on the lens over top of the uh, the camera on my iPhone 6. And you can see the wide camera angle now. It's like just insanely big comparison. It's the fisheye effect on this one. So I know it looks like crap, but look at this now. So when I go up really, really close with something, just super duper close with it, you can see the macro effect. It's just really, really, really um, detailed. So this is the one of the macros like so. And I'll go ahead and remove that off and slide on the wide angle, angle lens. This is kind of the wide angle uh, lens and it gives you just a lot of real estate again. The whole entire tabletop thing here I can use or I can move things around like this and you can get like an, a bigger idea of, of how high the boxes go up or, or whatever. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to use this quite yet. I have the tripod set up kind of differently right now for you guys for this video. But uh, but yeah, it's going to be kind of interesting because I'll be able to get kind of a better all around view uh, with this one. And then the last one we have is the other macro lens. And look at this thing, man. It's just insane. I wonder what I can do to my sneakers. Like this is like really, really, really detailed. Like all up in that business. Look at this. This is my LeBrons. I don't think anybody wants details that that fine. Like there's the Le LeBron sole. Dirty soles. I, I would have to figure out how to use this because I have no idea what I'm doing, as you can tell. But insanely, insanely close up is what you have with that. And then this is the way it is normally, obviously, with the LeBron. Uh, so that's what I was just looking at. So crazy fine details with this thing. All in all, uh, this is a pretty cool little setup. Um, I wonder if you can screw these on back in the same spots or not. I think you can. Uh, 80 bucks gets you this little uh, device thing. And I'll try to use this the best of my abilities um, for you guys on the channel. It does come with a little um, casing again like the other one does. Uh, I think it looks like it's going to do quite well. Um, it's nice to have a couple extra options. It's the same thing again, more or less as this one. And I'm going to probably have to get rid of this one because there's no need for this one. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys found this uh, video kind of helpful. Uh, if you guys are interested in the Oleo clip and what it does and the different lenses. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys later. Peace.